Welcome to the Super League's roughest fixture. Invincible United versus Iron Tank. And today's showdown will be even more intense than usual. The winner gets a place in the Super League final. Super Strikers secured their spot last week and will no doubt be keeping a close eye on this game. Uh -huh. got that you right. got it. These guys suck. We would have scored four goals by now. Totally. Yeah. Please, dudes. The defenders are owning this game. Mm, defenders. Oh, you mean those guys I run past when I score the goals? Berserker. Automatic to take the throw in. Can United make something of this? I don't know, Mac. He's pretty far from the box. This is not good. Oh! And there you have it. Utter domination from Invincible United, and it's all thanks to their new star man, Automatic! Yep, unless Super Strikers find a way to stop him, it'll be automatic victory for United in the final. Berserker, berserker, sir. Yep, we're totally done for. But you guys can stop anything in the air. Yeah, can't you just header it away? Headering ain't gonna help us against the long throw. Hey, what are you talking about? A cross or a corner needs height to get distance, but Automatic's throw comes in low and hard, Rawr. like a cannonball. The slightest touch from anyone, even your own defenders, and the ball's in the back of the net. Yep. Mm. Whoa. Like a cannonball, hey? I think I know someone who can help us. Virgo, Virgo. Yeah, coach. This heading guru may have helped shakes, but defensive heading is totally different. Trust me, dudes. His methods are a little unusual. Power! His facilities are kind of low-tech. Accuracy! And he's really demanding. Guts! But when it comes to headers, no one's better than El Ariete, the battering ram. All right, all right. That training does sound kinda hardcore. Kinda? I'm the only player who ever passed. Shakes is right. If anyone can get you ready to face automatic, it's El Ariete. You have one week before the final. Make it count. Shakes, chances are this dude's waiting for us with a cannon. Uh -huh. All right, let's show El Ariete the Super Striker's defense is ready for anything. Strikers, welcome to header training. Have a complimentary gift bag. Uh, I was not ready for that. If you want to learn how to header, you must master three simple skills. First, power. <laughs> Accuracy. <laughs> and guts. Hello? Shakes, El Ariente's training is the worst. Yay! This place is a theme park, a tourist trap. 
A total gimmick. Are you sure it's the same El Ariete? Because the training I did was insane. Maybe you forwards just don't understand the meaning of real hardcore oh. training. If you don't believe me, just look in El Ariete's book of graduates. My name is the only one in there. <sighs> Whatever. Huh. We are just as hardcore as the Defenders. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to the day spa right now to get all these hardcore knots massaged out of my muscles. Yeah, good idea. I'm going to ask him to make my hot heart treatment extra hot. Come on, dude. We've wasted enough time here. The real training? Come on. Shakes doesn't know what he's talking about. I mean, the dude thinks a jumping castle is hardcore. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. We look for the book. Where do you think El Ariente keeps it? If it even exists. And then we do 300 push ups, wrestle a moose, and run up a mountain? Backwards. Is that hardcore? So, does that answer your question? Uh, no. I asked how North and Block plan to stop Automatic's throw-in. <laughs> Those slackers are relaxing in Ibiza. <gasps> Suspicious. There's no way Coach would give his defenders time off before the final. Doesn't matter, Vince. We've got him. We can't lose. Wrong. Automatic's throw is only the first step to guarantee our victory. And what's step two? Sabotage, of course. Those slackers are relaxing in Ibiza. <gasps> so, what's in Ibiza? The battering ram. is more like it. is off limits. What are you doing here? Looking for the real header training. The one you gave Shakes? It is the same training Shakes got. Just in a safer, more controlled environment. We're about to face an unstoppable throw-in. We need the most hardcore header training there is. We need the battering ram. Sorry. That's just not me anymore. <sighs> Your training was so hardcore, only one player ever made it through. Now you hand out certificates to whoever shows up. Yep, was worth a shot. Hot shots! You want the real head of training? You got it! Not bad, hot shots. news of Sheik's training got out, everybody wanted lessons. And, like you, they were very persistent. So eventually I gave them what they wanted. But I had already created my masterpiece. Something I thought I would never use. The ultimate header training. 
So, no one's passed this? Ha! No one's even seen it! Huh? Hey! I thought we were the first people to come down here. Those aren't people. They're your opponents. <laughs> Welcome to Super League News Flash. I'm Rob Ross. Uh, guys. While North Shaw and Block have gone missing in the build-up to the final, Scar is so confident he's taking a holiday in Ibiza. Ha! That guy gives us hardcore for it's a bad name. I'll take a holiday when I'm dead. Yeah. Or if the weather's nice. Or if there's a sale on clothes. Guys, that isn't a holiday. It's sabotage. My machine will teach you to defend against this so-called unstoppable throw-in. If you hot shots are up to the job. I've never seen a barrel score such an easy goal. Then start coaching, bro. What do we do? Stop behaving like defenders. Forget about the opposition. Attack the ball like a forward. No man marking? But that, that goes against everything we've ever learned. No risk. No reward. Aw, close. This sucks. So, where's this famous heading coach? Don't know. He's taking the day off. Or maybe he's giving private lessons. Time for the Super League fight. <laughs> Sorry, losers, but Invincible United are gonna finish top of the ladder this season. <laughs> Shots. Think we can make it? No risk, no reward. Uh, not exactly what I meant, but. Defenders finally show up. You guys aren't the only ones who did hardcore training. We walked on the hot pavement. Barefoot. And only waited 10 minutes after eating before taking a swim. And? Did you learn how to stop automatics throw? Yeah, turns out the trick is to attack the ball like a forward. Ha-ha! <laughs> Told you guys forwards were the most hardcore. Block and North may be able to stop automatic, but it'll take all of you to win the trophy. One, two, three, Super Striders! So I drop it right, and I'm like, 
We're gonna finish top of the ladder, huh? That's why I have three steps to guarantee victory. Oh, yeah? And what's the third? Always have an ace up your sleeve. Okay, Mr. Buckethead. I have one last mission for you. <laughs> Welcome to the Super League Final. Invincible United versus Super Strikers. Great reception for both sides today. And great reception for me. <laughs> United must be the favorites here. Even the mighty Iron Tank had no answer for automatic throwing. Can Super Striker's defense do any better? Game on! Easy to guess Invincible United's game plan. Yep, get the ball out. And into Automatic's deadly hands. Unusual positioning from North and Block. You need to mark a man. Yeah, that's what we thought. I hope you two know what you're doing. Mm. And there it is, the deadly long throw. a game, Brenda. Indeed. If it carries on like this, it's going to penalties. Ha! About time. All right, boys, stay sharp. Only three minutes more. Uh, guys. They're bringing their goalie forward? An extra man? This completely tips the balance in United's favor. But it does give us a chance to hit them on the counter. Yeah, if we can get back possession. And quickly, too. So, any ideas? Doggle doggle, bigger dog, bazaar. You sure, dude? That sounds super risky. No risk. Doggle blah. Last chance of the game. Will the goalie make the difference? Well, he seems to have Super Striker spooked. North and Block are finally marking United. And here's the run-up from Automatic. Oh! What a throw! What is Block doing? He sent the ball directly towards his own goal! What? Super Strikers planned that? <laughs> now that's risky. How fast can you run? Get back! Everyone, get back! Defenders and forwards are soft. Goalkeepers are the most hardcore. <laughs> hey! What's so funny? So much for your three-step plan, Vince. I never said there were only three steps. <sighs> really? What's next? If you can't beat them, join them. Who is it? What do you want? Uh, just 
some ex-students. Burger, burger! Hot shots! That move was the riskiest thing I have ever seen. So, you gonna take your own advice and stick to real header training? No risk, no reward, right? Yes. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Welcome to header training. Say, man, man. It's me, Shakes. You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose in other people's business. Blargal, blargal. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, brilliant. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Jefferson. My Technovision glasses. The glasses you are wearing are the perfect training device. I can load any player from any team into your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson, Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about this gun, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone? You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> you give me those glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. <gasps> or sabotage. <laughs> Say hello to the biggest star in Hollywood. <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one of a kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. They're so copyright protected, if I try to make another one, I'd have to sue myself. Hurry up, El Matador! Coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection. Ugh. Dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. What? They were handing him out for free on the plane. Uh, no, they weren't. We got here on the striker jet. <laughs> <laughs> El Matador is the best player. He is the one all fans adore. El la 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 My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of technovision magic, of course. Ah! Oh! I'm looking great! Hey! Gonna score lots of goals today. You it's gunk! I'm getting out of here! The skunk. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it stinks! When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna... Drap. Hmm, my glasses feel kind of weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map up Hello? our defensive response. Tony? We'll expecting tight defense around the goal. Nope, fair. A staggered defense. Tony even lets super strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm. If I can't use the movie glasses, maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's showtime! Technically, have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. 
<laughs> and we got just the man to make him pay. Right, El Matador? Hmm? El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We gotta be prepared for Technicali. Yeah, who knows what that madman Tony Vern is up to. Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. I got it! <laughs> no, you don't! Oh. What should I do for my first scene? El Matador! Can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um... Ponytail magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my good side. Ah, go! And cut. What a scene. John J. <gasps> Johnson, Jr.? <gasps> What are you doing in my lab? Oh, nothing, Tony. <laughs> Ew! What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. A matador! I was wide open. Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> uh, what reporter, dude? That guy, right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? Mm -hmm. <gasps> According to Pointless Gossip magazine, El Matador is showing all the signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh, yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. <gasps> How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys? Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, a skunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail Magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails were not a fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Uh, Shakes, you believe me, right? Uh, I, I, uh... Fine! I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. <laughs> all right, all right, we get it. That went well. <sighs> I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. <gasps> John J. Johnson Jr.? Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself, no matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh... The 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> you should tell that to Norshaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. OK, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? <gasps> Drama. No matter, Dora, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm-mm. Drama. Check. 
What else? Action! Mm. Uh. Oh, you ninjas! What are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? What do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. C come back. Pfft, sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... Huh? Crazy. El Matador? Oh, sorry. This isn't over, El Matador. Your ponytail will be ours. <laughs> Shakes, and those evil ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador, I think you should look at this. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. A game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, Shakes, what am I gonna do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude, we have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on! I'm your friendly, super reliable, goal-getting strike partner. I'll be fine. <laughs> Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in Red Hot Forum, they'll be torn apart. So, Shakes, dude, what happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well... Hey, guys, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah, uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador, it's showtime! And we're off! <laughs> Cheeky shakes! And highly effective! <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here! He's clean through! Huh? Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare! Shakes, back to you! Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man! It works! I'm a genius! Wide open, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matador's failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about... Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, when did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? <laughs> but if El Marigo wasn't lying about the skull, then... John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail Magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, i uh, never heard of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! Tony! Oh. 
Oh, yes, much better. What have you done? It wasn't me, it was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now listen, El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back, defend your lead, and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk. Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. Hmm? What? What? <laughs> Hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rule, Shakes. Uh... I'm calling my law. Oh. <laughs> hmm? So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Vern swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Vern sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touch my glasses. Uh, you gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Oh! Tech Division is meant to make him worse, not better! How about some special effects to liven things up? <laughs> Nobody touches the glasses. Tail magazine. <laughs> That'll do. Back to me. <laughs> Eat this, Fido. Amazing. Unbelievable. Oh, 
Linda. El Matador's moves today are going straight to the highlights of the year. <laughs> How can this day get any worse? That'll do it. Dude, that was like the craziest goal I've ever seen. Yeah, much better than being crazy. <laughs> Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Ah, don't worry. It was Tony's fault. Are we gonna teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Teen Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. Get your high-tech augmented reality technoglasses right here! Uh, at least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss, I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. Ooh. <gasps> what is that smell? I <sighs> don't want to talk about it. Great accuracy, boys. Yeah. Looking good, Captain. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. good isn't good enough. Oh, come on, Coach. Coach, we're totally awesome! No? Take a look at this. Colonel Von Pushup, you just crushed Hydra in their home waters. How'd you do it? Johan Uber's marshalling in the midfield was visionary. Thor's shooting was unstoppable. And no one can get past our newest weapon, the Mangler. <laughs> Are you confident you can execute the same against Super Strikers next week? The Fortress Stadium may be up in the mountains, but Super Strikers are going down. <sighs> this is Lena Long, Football 360, signing out. Feeling warm and looking good. This is why I never pack light. Coach, uh, can we have our secret training mission somewhere warmer? I want you all ready for the extreme cold before we play at the Fortress Stadium. That's not gonna help us if we can't get past the Mangler. Dude's super scary. It's like he reacts before you even kick the ball. That's why we have this. A ball? This new plan of yours is pure genius, Coach. This isn't any ball. Whoa. It's GPS chipped for tracking speed, air pressure, and direction. If you can kick the ball harder than 100 miles an hour, you can beat the Mangler. Man, that's fast. Never stop believing. It is possible, Shakesman. Right, guys? <laughs> Dot the spirit block. Car. Roger? Super Strikers, this is your pilot speaking. Please fasten your seatbelts. We're in for an interesting landing. Attention, Iron Tank! This is your coach speaking! Ah, we can hear you! We are right here, Colonel! Colonel, I have picked up a nearby GPS signal! All the way out here? Hmm... Directive, change course! Ah, directive understood. Smooth landing, hey boys? Man, too smooth. <laughs> Big Bull, your mangler for the afternoon. Sure thing. How's this? <laughs> Not bad. The rest of you, let's get to it. <laughs> Take it 
fast, Trakes. Sure thing, Coach. Oh! Bring it. Strikers, what are they doing here? Directive Lippery! Of all the icebergs they could run into, it had to be ours? Blag or blag? Smooth, 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 smooth. Talking in code. Very clever. Colonel, the chipped object is moving. Directive, find the source of the signal. Already have. Let Whoa. me see. A GPS ball? I think I know what Super Strikers are up to. Vaughn push-up. If I'd known you were visiting, I would have tidied up. Well, considering we are here, how about a little friendly? You're on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, the ball reached 72 miles an hour. Ha! Takes more than that to beat the mangler. Shakesman! Hands up! Yes! Colonel! Dancing Rasta beats the mangler! What? Directive! Get the ball! Directive understood. That was amazing, Captain. How did you do it? You won't believe what happened. I... Huh? Where's he off to? <gasps> the ball! Captain, wait! Iceberg now. We're all taking a long, cold swim. Come on, Captain.
feeling so cold yet? I'm just getting warmed up, man. Mission. Don't worry, guys. I know just how to wake him up. <gasps> oh, dude. Nope. He's out cold. <laughs> equipment all the time. Is it gonna be okay, Doc? Your captain's had a serious shock to the system. His body isn't used to such extreme cold. Unfortunately, I can't say what will wake him up. He could be asleep for a few hours, or... Or... or what? Or... a very long time. <sighs> captain, when you awaken, you will be in this foreign place without the necessities of life. So I leave you this gift, the world's most powerful hair dryer. Technical difficulties? Yeah, water damage. Don't worry. Keeping our equipment running in this court has taught me that sometimes all you need is a little bit of improvisation. Targets reacquired. Directive. Libri! Don't worry, the hair dryer trick works every time. How long will it take to dry out? Hmm, difficult to say, but I'll call you as soon as I can access the data. Directive! <gasps> Stay out! Day at the Fortress Stadium, Brenda, and the teams are warm enough. But without dancing Rasta, will Super Strikers be left out in the cold, Mac? Uh, is that what I think it is? Uh huh. Sure, you didn't see how Rasta did that power kick? You were right there, brother. Heads up! The mist was too thick. I couldn't see. Huh. A frozen ball, a frozen captain, and a frozen brain. Great. Come on. There's nothing we can do about the ball right now, Shakes. Concentrate on the game. Super Strikers are no nearer to beating the Mangler. Dancing Rasta! Dancing Rasta! Dancing. I guess they really do need Dancing Rasta, mm -hmm. Mac, but he's... he's nowhere to be seen. Yes! 
<laughs> Directive, move on target. Directive understood. Hi, Shakes. Hello, Doc. Great news. All the data is still intact. Are you with the ball now? No. Why? Approaching target. I would take her after the ball. Don't worry. I'm right next door to... Don't even think about it. No! Directive! Get that ball! Give it up, man! As my doctor, I prescribe lots of rest. Captain, huh? you're okay. Oh, everyone's gonna be so relieved. And you can tell us how you beat the Mangler. Sure. One thing, though. Shoot, Captain. Who are you again? You knew that ball was our best shot, so you tried to steal it again. Yeah, well, it seemed easier than stealing Rasta. <laughs> well, you should have stolen Rasta. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> welcome yeah. back, Rasta. Welcome back, dude! Great to meet you. Uh -huh. Oh, right. Shakes told me. We're teammates. This is a cruel disease. How can anyone forget me? I want to help you guys, but how can I be the captain of the Super Strikers? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> well, if anything's gonna remind you who you are, it's this. Thanks, Shakes. Shake's mom. Eh? The real Rasta calls me Shake's mom. Well, he's not here right now, okay? The return of their captain, even from the sidelines, could be just the charm Super Strikers need. Well, he'd better work his magic soon, because Super Strikers are running out of time. Run! As the play intensifies, Johan Uber takes things a bit too far. You and your captain are as ineffective as each other. Shakespeare! It was the worst picture, Shakespeare! What's he... what's he saying? That's easy. It was downward pressure, Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. Their captain on ice. Super strikers are looking directionless. So, what's the plan? Stand on the ball. Brilliant! 
Uh, no, wait. The exact opposite of that. Downward pressure? Push down on the ball, and it'll shoot out like a rocket. Where do you get this crazy idea from? Dancing Rasta. Um, which Dancing Rasta? He's back, El Matador. He called me Shakesmon. Ugh, guess we got nothing to lose. Except the game, right? Come on, Shakes and El Matador. Time's a-ticking. Final chance of the game. <laughs> Team effort, as usual. Now come on, guys, let's go home. I've had enough of this cold. Hey, check it out. Directive Scrub! I really, really hate the loudspeaker. I guess Iron Tank's performance was really substandard. <laughs> <laughs>